Are we recording? I don't know if I'm recording or not. What do you mean you don't know if we're recording? You'll see a big old red dot on the screen. You see a big old red dot? I don't know what's talking about a red dot. I can't see no red dot. There's a big old button right there that's it's red. You press it, and then a big old red dot will pop up on the screen. Oh, yeah, 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 we good, we good. We're recording, we're recording. There you go, okay. Cool, we're recording, we're going, we're going. Hi, everyone, my name is Jimmy Arcurio, and welcome to my show. What I like to do here on my show is I like to review some of the good old craft bursts that are on the market today. For today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a hazy IPA called The Invisible Hand from Austin Beer Works right here out of Austin, Texas. Now what most people like to do is they'll take that beer and they'll drink it right out of the can. But I'm a little bit classier than that. I like to drink it out of a cold pint glass. So here's how you do it. What you'll do is you'll take a pint glass and you put that right in the freezer for about five or so minutes. After the five or so minutes are up, you'll take that pint glass right out of the freezer and you got a smoky cold pint glass. So let's get into it. We have our invisible hand right here and we have our smoky cold pint glass ready to go. Let's talk about the can for a second. The can is very pretty. I'll say that. It's very, very pretty. It's got a uh, woman's doing luau on it. It's got uh, uh, fruits, it's got anchors, it's got lobsters, everything you want on a beer can, everything you want. So yeah, there's a 7% ABV, which is great. I consume a lot of beer and uh, the faster I can get turned, the better, you know what I'm saying? But I'm always responsible about it. That's the thing, be responsible. All right, so let's try this out now. All right, we pouring this into our smoky cold pint glass now. Always put it at an angle because you're about to get that head on top. You don't want a lot of head, you know what I'm saying? Unless you do. But not me. Not today. Put it at an angle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. So it's got a very nice amber color to it, which is really good. It's got aroma. It's got a very aromatic citrus feel to it. It's very citrusy. It's very good to the nose, very good to the palate. So let's try this beer. I'm telling you right now, that's a damn good beer. Now, if I were to rate it on a scale of not good to a PFG, I'd say it's a PFG. Pretty freaking good. Yep, so yeah, I really dig this beer. I really think it's a good hazy IPA to throw on your palate. Um, Austin Beer Works is also a very, it's a local company. Um, they do their own beers. They got their own brewery here right in Austin, Texas. And they do a good job. They got a lot of good beers and I wanted to try this for the first time and I enjoy it. I really, really, That's a good sign. If you're burping, that's a good beer right there. I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out my show. Again, my name is Jimmy Arcurio, and uh, we had uh, The Invisible Hand today by Austin Beer Works right here out of Austin, Texas. And it's good. It's good. Uh, can I get another one of these? That was it. We ain't got no more. That was the last one. Um, I don't know what to tell you, man. You out of luck. Well, we're not really supposed to go outside right now, so I don't know what we're supposed to do. I sure as hell ain't going out there. Thanks for watching the show.